Hello and welcome back everybody, Blue Dwarf here. Welcome back to another episode of Terra Firma Punk. I know you guys might be thinking, who is this person? He's got, he looks completely different. So yes, we've changed our skin for something more Blue Dwarfy. Um, or oh, I've been working on this skin um, behind the scenes, um, and I'm ready to rock it out. Let's get straight into this. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to use some of this stone that we've got to make a handstone and some smooth stone that we've just been uh, gathering up from that house over there, but it can also be obtained by uh, using the chisel on any raw stone. That gives us the uh, corn base, um, which we then chuck this in here. And what we can do is we can use this to grind down our grains um, the grind um, into flour and then using a bucket um, of fresh water we can combine that with this to make dough. Now that only uses half of it but gives us a full 160 ounces of dough so that doubles our food then if we just grab some wood a second uh maple 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 guess we don't have any maple i'll just use some sequoia wood um i'm saying maple because maple burns the longest um and then we can just grab a fire starter grab the one that's already partially used and we can stick in some logs and whilst we do this, we're also going to grab some sand that we gathered up last episode. Um, because we can turn this into glass, which is one of the quests that we have been working towards. So we can stick in our dough. So we want to do that first. As you can see, we are um, very much running low on food and it's best to create some sandwiches. So, we, But we ran out of bread. Um, so we're going to cook up some bread, make up some glass, and uh, then I'll be back. Right, so we finished up cooking our bread, just making some more glass. Um, this needs to get to a dark red, um, but uh, in the meantime, something we can, I've just thought that we can do. If we put in, oh, maybe here actually, yeah, there it is. Um, Faint red. Oh, put that back in dark red. And that turns into glass. If we just put in a little hole here, we can access our food prep area, and we can see that we've put, we've also cooked up some uh, pork chop. Um, so we can now use all of this to create something resembling I don't know BLT with fruit. Um, but that actually solves a lot of our. Um, it produces a very good meal for us. Um, the more, well, we've got sweet, we've got sour, and we've got savory all to our liking. And the more that we have to our liking, the better saturation it will give us. Um, I think that's all the glass we'll be able to get out of that. So now we can make more of those sandwiches, um, each one being 10 ounces. Um, and that will also increase our, um, what's it called, our nutrient levels. Um, now we'll be increasing all of our nutrient levels except for dairy, um, which we'll have to address at some point, otherwise our health will continue to decrease. Um, I think we're soon to be coming out, yeah, this last, oh, there's 10 day, days in each month. Um, but um, we won't be able to grow anything for a while still after December um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use this area over here and turn it into a proper smithy area so my thoughts for this are is that we um, sort of create a uh, like a furnace uh, like um, a forging area over here with our anvil um, we we need somewhere to be able to do our pit kilns 
um, so maybe we'll have that somewhere over here um, and then we'll need somewhere to stack up our ingots as well and um, I also had some thoughts for tidying up this area down here a little bit um, in the sense that we can dig, if we dig this out we can use some of these chert bricks that we got um, to make this look a little bit nicer create like a, uh, a what, what's it called we can also dig out this to create like a, a retaining wall um, and then maybe we can even turn these into some st stairs some proper stairs down to our food cellar that will look really nice we can also replace these ones but we'll need to uh, worry about the cobblestone on top but yeah so that will that's what I'm going to do down here um, I just need to think about what we're doing over here right so I've made up an area um, now this is going to be used for um, making a forge now the way you make a forge is you shift and stack a stack of co charcoal or coal um, and then you simply light it but um, yeah so we just light it like this and then we can cook a whole bunch of stuff at the same time we can use this for um, heating up metals to work on our anvil um, which we will place I think we'll um, if we dig up this bit okay so that didn't really go anywhere um, so if we just place a smooth dolomite there and place our anvil here um, and then we'll work out a better place for all of our um, jack-o'-lanterns to go um, dig them into the ground actually um, soon we'll be able to make um, prettier um, lanterns as permanent light sources now one thing to remember about the forges is that um, they can they are affected by rain so you want a solid block above them but they also need a chimney now that can be in any of the uh, straight directions um, so this acts as our chimney for both of these forges um, and then we've got a place for putting our bellows um, once we have completed once the leather has finished processing we play bellows here for heating up our metals more easily now over here I've placed in all of the chert bricks that we have um, but one thing we can do is using the different modes on the chisel we can uh, turn these bricks into steps um, now I'll need to uh, replace these bits of dirt with uh, bricks as well but I didn't have any more bricks um, and I honestly didn't think, think about it um, so we now have a proper staircase to our pantry um, so this is looking a lot better um, and for stacking our ingots I was thinking we could uh, just create something along here um, I would just right click them um, I thought we had four, yeah we do have four um, sneak right click to put them all down and then uh, we'll make a uh, little uh, shelter over here and we can also uh, seal our water water up and place that Where are you there you are um, I think we'll place that over here somewhere actually um, if we put that um, not that we'll just put that there for the moment and then with these pumpkins we can just dig them into the ground to provide all the light that we'll need whilst not getting in our way so much so we can walk around without having them, them all on the surface I was already thinking about doing that with these ones here I'll just actually rotate this one round 
so we just have the orange face there but yeah so um now we can get into doing some more metal working right so uh leather finished processing so we can use three leather and six planks to make our bellows which goes here and then uh, when it's running we can use that to blow air onto the forge to make it reach higher temperatures for working metals um, that are like iron that have a much higher melting or well, workable point um, we also made up this glass so we can make these bottles now um, which completes a, another quest um, which gives us a piece of soul sand um, apparently we need to make awkward potions um and so we made lumber um and i think i'll grab some maple wood and we got we made support beams um so spruce or birch because i think we, we we have sycamore already um do we have sycamore actually i'm not sure if we do um what is planks looking like um there's a lot of planks <laughs> surprise me just how many planks there are um right so birch okay not too bad um spruce Spruce is very pink. I've already got. I mean, this is the ash, uh, the sequoia wood, and this is the spruce. Um, this is the sycamore. Uh, sick, uh, sycamore, sycamore. Um, so that's a very sort of yellowy wood. Um, I think I'm going to go for the uh, birch sapling then, actually. Um, we made some chests, some barrels, and a bucket. Um, grab some more of that. Um, ah, we make, meant to make two hands, handstones for this, apparently. I didn't know this was one of the next quests. Um, and apparently we don't have a medium. I, th I thought we did that step. Um, well, we must have done that step because we have, have the actual finished leather. Um, there we go, um, we can stick that back in for making more leather, and then we can claim these, um, and I put the leather away downstairs, so we can turn that quest in as well, uh, here we are, and we'll take an iron nugget, um, and then it wants us to make milk, or get milk from a cow, um, make whiskey as well it's probably why it wanted us to make those glass bottles um right so we'll get onto that at some point uh, we apparently need to grab some smooth stone of a certain type um we can i thought we had a, had a fish fishing rod actually um apparently not um so we can grab some string and uh, sticks and make a fishing rod survivalist fishing rod and then we got a fish from where was it is it this it was one of these quests over here or was it for the bottles? Ah, here it is. We got a raw fish, um, so we can turn in raw fish for actual um, terra firma craft fish, um, which we can then eat. In which create another sandwich. Yes, we are up. Got a very high health right now due to uh, balancing up out all of our nutrients. Um, make. We need to make another few grindstones. I don't think this one will count anymore because we've started using it. Um, so we'll need to make some some of those up at some point. Um, but 
that's all the question we're going to do for the current moment. Um, put that back away in there. Um, because to get onto the next tier of metals, um, we need to make a bloomery. Um, now, to make this, we need eight double sheets of bronze. It can be any of these bronzes. Um, but to get that, we need copper and either um, a lot of tin, silver and gold, or bismuth and zinc. And currently, the only thing we have a lot of is copper. Um, the only amounts that we have of anything else are these little nuggets, which won't give us enough metal to actually make the bloomery. Um, so we're going to go and need to either find, well, we've around the world found all sorts of different um, veins of all of those different metals. So we're going to go harvest a bunch of these different metals other than copper. And um, then we'll be back to hopefully make the bloomery. Right, so we are actually going to do one little bit of smithing before we head out. Just done enough for um, uh, four ingots of black bronze, um, which we're going to light up here. And then we're going to cast that into, um, into ingots. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to work them on the anvil to make um, some more another pickaxe because well a uh current pickaxe is almost done and we need to go binding mining for a much, bunch more metals but also um when you do the sort of mini little mini game for making tools on here you are uh, actually gain um a where is it a smithing uh experience um which there's tool smithing which will be for what we'll be doing, which is making um, pickaxe heads. And what that does is the better your smithing level, um, I think it comes up here actually, uh, when you're actually working the tool, is it increases the amount of durability a tool has. Um, and I think it might even um, increase the damage dealt by weapons. Um, so we're going to wait for that to cook up and then we'll be right back. Right, so there we've got um, uh, 400 units of bismuth bronze. Um, so we will cast these into ingots. There we go. That's that sorted and now we will as they um what's it called we can create the pickaxe head um once they have gone to solid um which i believe is that orange right so uh we've got this one we're going to use what's going on plans why don't we have any plans I don't understand this can be used for making black bronze pickaxe head oh we need Right, I forgot one important thing. We need a bronze anvil to be able to work the bronze metals. Um, so it's all right though, because um, we needed to make some bronze ingots anyway. Um, let me just stick these back in there. Because um, we can cool these off. Um, and If we go inside and grab our quest book a second, that is actually a, another quest ticked off. Um, 
and uh, then it wants us to, to make a bunch of um, bronze tools. Um, doesn't let us. I think it, it specifically wants bronze rather than any other, like bismuth bronze or black bronze. Um, and then it wants us to make a bronze bronze anvil, um, which is all right uh, because we'll use all of that stuff. Um, so we can place uh, black bronze ingots there for the moment um, and we will make some pickaxes just by casting them and then we'll be off mining. Right so we're uh, back from having done some mining, mine some, uh, some native silver and some uh, rich native gold um, but the awkward thing is to find the correct ratios with things like 35 units, 25 units, and 10 unit pieces, it can be quite complicated. Now, one of the mods in this, uh, called Udery, um, adds something called an alloy calculator. Now, to make this, we just, as shown, we used a chipped garnet, um, and these don't really have much use in the game, so I was just going to use one of these. We can just place this down, and we can see if we chuck in some of these things, we can play around with the ratios of different things to see how much of each um, metal we need to get a correct ratio for getting one of our bronzes. So in this case, we're making black. We want to make black bronze with uh, s silver, gold, and malachite or copper so we are going to play around with this until we have a correct ratio with the correct number of units right so now that we have the correct ratio of units for black bronze with a whole um, number of ingots that will produce um, to avoid us having solidified uh, liquid in our vessel we can take these stacks and put them into our ceramic vessel sewn and then we can stick that in there and we will fire that up with um, some probably probably some more uh, ceramic molds and we'll be back in a second right um, so this must have finished by now um, yep 15,000 units of black bronze um so we can start casting all of these um bit weird there um i have to probably uh chuck some of these um pine logs out of our inventory for a second um because we can't have this metal going cold on us solidifying oh worst time ever right uh stick that back in there Because the worst thing that could possibly happen is if the black bronze solidifies in the actual vessel, because that means then we'll have to refire it again um, to heat it back up. Um, but at least if we have it in the casts, we can, um, or as ingots, we can heat it up again on the forge um, for, to be able to weld these ingots together. Because um, the plan here is to actually turn this black bronze into a black bronze anvil um, so that we can then um, make some black bronze tools on the anvil um, right put that away um, chop those down a se second um, and try and put as much of this 
wood away as possible. Right. So that's all of those. Um, now I can pick up all of these. Um, chuck away the last few pine logs. Good amount of logs that we just uh, gathered up there. Um, so we need to try and... I think if you chuck these on the ground, they actually stay hot. Just probably a little bit of a uh, uh, glitch, but... Um, I'll take it. Um, so that's all of the white ones out of our inventory. Um, so, as in white hot ones. Um, Right, so now we just need to uh, wait for these to become solid. And I'll start welding all of these together into double ingots. And then we'll be back in a second once we should have our black bronze anvil. Right, so we uh, slightly missed uh, the window for some of these, um, so we're going to have to chuck those on the floor a second to keep them from going cold, which is a bit weird. Um, but we're going to light up our forge um, and heat it up, and we're going to stick our ingots, or at least one of our ingots in there, um, just using a, a bit of our charcoal to heat it up, we need it to be able to be weldable, um, so that should be soon. Bright red, I think it's bright red two star. Can weld. We'll leave it in there for a second. Put a mold in there. Um, stick this one in there as well to heat it up even more. Um, and stick this one in there a second. Oh, we cooled that one down too quick, too much. Um, Right, so that one turned to liquid. Um, right, should be able to weld these two together. Yes, we can. And take that charcoal out of there. See if that can get any hotter orange. It's good. Chuck that on the ground a second just to keep it from uh, cooling down, which, as I get, again, as I say, is, is probably a glitch, but um, we're just going to do that a second and cool all of these off. And we now have ourselves a black bronze anvil, um, which we can place down there for the moment. Grab a hammer flocks out of there just temporarily. It's a lovely purple color. Um, but then we can stick this hot um, thing in here and make it into a pickaxe. So we need to be able to draw it, bend it, and then punch it. So we need to go fight quite far this way. Draw, bend, punch. Okay, draw, bend, punch. Draw, bend, oh, draw, draw, bend, punch. 
right so it's draw bend punch there we go and we've got a 0.6% smithing bonus um, so that should mean that it has a bit of extra durability it says in the left hand bottom left hand corner it has 1471 um, durability um, and I think the the regular one that we had in here had yeah 1460 um, so we got an extra what was it 11 11 durability by making it on the anvil rather than uh, casting it of course that will our as our skill level increases that will increase more and more making it more and more useful to do things on the anvil rather than casting them and also the higher tier metals including things like iron um, can only be smith on their respective um, anvil they cannot be cast so I'm going to uh, tidy up this area a bit um, we don't need the copper anvil anymore so that can uh, that can just go over here for the moment um, we can take a black bronze anvil and stick it here in its rightful place and then we will be off mining again because we are still very low on um, on things like gold uh, we have a lot of silver we have a lot of copper but we don't have any gold for making any more bronze tools or for making the bloomery so we'll have to get around to that uh, later on that's all we've got time for today guys um, we've made some very good progress here we've got our forge with our bellows uh, we've got a place to store all of our ingots we've made our black bronze anvil and uh, that means we're very, very close now to be able to make the bloomery, which will get us on to be able to make iron. But for now, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.